Hello all, welcome back to the Truth Seekers channel. Today I'm gonna talk about the Book of Enoch and the Flood compared to the Atrahasis Flood. This is an old Sumerian book compared to the Book of Enoch and the Book of Enoch was uh, is an ancient Jewish religious work ascribed to the tradition to Enoch, uh, the great grandfather of Noah. And the book was mainly the book of the watchers, so the fallen angels, which I talk a lot about. And it was about uh, from about 300 BC. And uh, the other book, the Atrahasis is older, it's like, uh, more than 1000 BC maybe even older than that I think 1500 some say 1600 BC uh, this is, yeah, mid 17th century BC e so like 1000 year older than the book of Enoch and in Enoch who was born 1000 years before the flood and he was like the great grandfather of um, Noah let's see where did it say this? the great grandfather hmm. it's somewhere here it was like this family Lamech was the father of Noah and and Enoch was the great grandfather of uh, Noah. And Enoch mm, was a type of Jew. Noah was a type of the Jews, but Enoch went home without dying. And when Noah seen Enoch go, he knew it was time to start on the ark. That was Noah's sign when Enoch went home. Noah saw Enoch was missing, he thought, what becomes of Enoch? So this, uh, in the book, uh, what Enoch says about the flood. In a vision I saw the waters of the heaven thrown down upon the earth. So he had, uh, Enoch was having visions of uh, floods. And he was predicting, the flood was predicted far in advance as a judgment. And it was a day of the, pun the punishment of the Lord. Spirits will come. So it's a punishment of the Lord. The Lord was punishing these guys. Or the fallen angels. Because they slept with a woman of earth. And they got children. And these children were abomination. Like giants. Nephilims. But what is strange is that. God punishes these these demons after they had children and grandchildren. So it took a while before God intervened in this flood. So I think maybe God was not on earth at the moment. And uh, that God was on his way like the spaceship Niburu that comes to earth like say 3600 years. Mm. And every 3600 years uh, God's come a visit and God is like the gods, maybe Anu and Enki and Enlil, these Anunnaki gods, they come with their spaceship to collect the gold and uh, they leave people behind or aliens or uh, their, their uh, what you call it, their soldiers behind to watch over earth and don't let anything strange happen. But these watchers, so these uh, uh, creatures they left behind, they ran out of control they start sleeping with humans and uh, making children and genetic manipulating animals and humans so when these gods came back to collect their gold they saw total chaos and they killed all these so-called fallen angels mm. that is my interpretation and is this so the gods are the Anunnaki gods? Hmm. Like 
in the chief yeah where is elect of uh, Nibiru so every 3600 years it comes to earth see like this what was that S but now like so they had to kill out these creatures but now these uh, aliens have or the Anunnaki's have different type of aliens controlling us um, Nibiru. So this is how the every 3600 year then they fly away they go to their planet drop the gold and come back and some people predict they are coming back like within a few years between now and 2020 to visit Earth. And what do you think about that? No, I think it's nonsense. Huh. Why? How is this tra 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 trajectory of this planet so exclusive? I mean, look at all the other planets. They're all in li in line with uh, with the sun. Um, and planet X is has a really strange elliptical 3D trajectory I mean uh, yeah I can't understand it's not a planet it's it's, it's a spaceship it's a spaceship with, uh, which which orbits like this yeah not orbits but they just draw it like it could flies like that yeah, it could you cannot like you that. cannot know exactly how it orbits but it goes away and comes back after 3600 mm. about you cannot say it come back f directly of uh, exactly 36 maybe they have a little delay of few few years few, like a few minutes or something or they encounter some technical problems with their spaceship you cannot uh, calculate exactly when they're coming back this we do not have the instruments so maybe the mayans he predicted 2012 with their calendar so i think they are fairly accurate they might be uh, five to ten years off but I think the spaceship is coming back soon and um, I don't know if they will flood us again or do something else or throw some nuclear bomb on us <laughs> yeah so what do you think Mm, no, this is actually seeing is believing because mm. I don't know nothing about the scientific proof. Um, how does this, uh, yeah? How does this affect our solar system? I mean, is there some gravity which is uh, measured? You know, is there some uh, uh, gravity measured which? Um, gravity yeah what so, 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 what so, you so, so about? each planet each planet or a uh, huge uh, uh, space uh, space uh, body you know has creates gravity or has gravity ah uh, the spaceship yeah how, how large is it do you know that and uh, no and what how do they even know that that this exists i mean surely they have some scientific reasons like they uh, measured uh, uh, gravity or mm. or something else Nibiru. Nibiru. It's a spaceship like this like the death star from uh, star wars magnetic conductor how, how, magnetic how force Wait, how large do you think i think really large like the dead like the uh like the moon or something maybe ship from star wars like uh bigger like a whole city maybe bigger than a city yeah, what do you mean bigger like a city big like a planet Be, what, what kind of planet you've you've not you've not of a planet i don't know but it's a really big spaceship yeah 
Okay. These guys maybe be, they build a really big spaceship like this, maybe you know. Yeah, that's that star. Yeah. And that was uh, yeah, it was it was quite then mo mo moonlike size, no? Yeah. Moonlike size. And it might look like the the dead star for real, and it's. <laughs> and I think it is a dead star. It could be a literally. Yeah. <coughs> it could be literally a dead star. Yeah. Um, it comes to destroy us. No, I, I mean, a star, which. So, some something which was really a star in the past. Ah, and they uh, made it a spaceship. I don't know. Okay, that could be a, a, a really a, a uh, real dead star, uh, literally. Uh, but in those days, the, the gods were angry um, at their uh, their guards, the guardians they left to guard Earth. They left like two hundred uh, guardians, and they went off. And when they came back, it was total chaos. And they bred with the uh, women of Earth, and out of that came the Nephilim, aka giants. And they became pregnant and bear great giants whose height was three hundred L's, who consumed all the acquisitions of men. And when men could no longer sustain them, the giants turned against them and devoured mankind. And they began to sin against birds and beasts and reptiles and fish and to devour one another's flesh and drink the blood. Uh, the scary giants, they start eating humans and doing strange stuff. And Enoch was just a man whose eyes were opened by God so that he saw a vision of Holy One in the heavens. Hmm. So what do you think? Could they be giants? Who? These giants that Enoch was described, the Nephilim. I have never seen a giant yet, but I heard stories from friends that uh, had grandparents working in mines and uh, sometimes they find uh, giant bones, but they cannot tell anybody about it. And there's a special squad team coming and they uh, seal down the mine and uh, hide the bones, the bones well, disappear. Well, uh, where did you hear this? Uh, from a friend of mine. Did he experience it? Or he heard he it from his grandfather who was working in a mine a long time ago. At, at which location? In Eastern Europe. Mm -hmm. Then the Mine, the mine workers they are then instructed not to talk about it. Then there's like some strange uh, FCIA or men in black team comes. They shut down the mine and take away all the bones, and you never heard but hear about it afterwards. Mm. So yeah, the only thing we can know that giants might exist is from books and hearsay and stories and myths. And then we never seen one. I think nobody ever seen one with their bare eye. No. If you say seeing is believing, then yeah. giants do not exist. So yeah. the book of Enoch is false. If you believe that, and God punished or killed all these humans for nothing, and the the children of these um, watchers are fallen angels. Mm. But I don't know. I think this looks like it could have happened like that. And after they killed all of them and they start a new human, human race and now the people that are watching us do not even let us know that they are around. I think they like uh, they were mo they are these these new watchers are more uh, sophisticated. Ah, here is the list of uh, you have 
Enoch and he begetted Methuselah was his son and Methuselah got Lamech and Lamech got Noah that is uh, and the Bible states that a few people in the boat eight in all were saved by the water yeah. Enoch uh, and Noah and in the in the Atrahasis it's also a flood it's flood in this area and Atrahasis was another name for Noah as we uh, as you saw in our last video um, yeah, it's a Akkadian Babylonian epic of the great flood sent by the gods to destroy human life um, so in Atrahasis it's just only the human life Atrahasis doesn't mention giants or fallen angels or beasts or hybrids or half man half animal it's just they it talk about the humans the gods were yeah, the humans were making too much noise and they were uh, overpopulating the earth so the gods sent uh, the flood to destroy them so that's the big difference between the Atrahasis or the ancient Sumerian, Akkadian, and other uh, old Noah of flood myths. This one is the older one. Are does not mention giants, dangerous beasts, or monsters, or uh, half breeds, or scary stuff and uh, disgusting stuff like Sodom and Gomorrah and uh, giants sleeping with humans and. Uh, all kind of uh, vile and dirty and nasty and gross stuff. The original, the older text at like Atrahasis or what you have more uh, more Sumerian or Babylonian texts. I think the Epic of Gilgamesh mentioned uh, with the uh, the Utna Utna Pishitim. Remember, he was also a Noah type of guy. Um so this this old book yeah also the Gilgamesh you see so written down Atrahasis can be dated by the colophon to reign of the Babylonian king Hammurabi da, da, da. the Sumerian flood story known as Erudu Genesis which tells the same story certainly older written down earlier of the epic and the tablet 11 of the epic of Gilgamesh which also relate to the the tale of the great flood which is even older than that like 2150 to 1400 BC before Christ though this date of the writing of Gilgamesh it may well be the Sumerian flood story in oral form is actually older while the story itself concerns a flood of universal proportions even scaring the gods who unleashed it um, they show the area where but it does not mention anything of giants and other scary stuff. When the gods, instead of man, did the work before bore the lo load, the gods' load was too great. They worked too hard. They traveled too much. Oh, this is the creation myth of the humans. I, we also made a video on that. But as you can see, there's nothing about giants or Nephilims. So where did suddenly in the last flood story you get giants, Nephilims and uh, ugly monstrous creatures and fallen angels? It, it, the story turned out to be really confusing and all kind of strange and uh, disturbing stuff comes in. Eating of flesh and blood and giants and... Uh, I think this is really strange and all the other flood stories is just God destroying humans because they make too much noise or overpopulating the earth so I think 
I would my, I would put my money on the older version, older stories. The older older the story, the more the truth. That's like the source. You go more to the source, and the more the source uh, changes, less to less. That's the less uh, what you call it. Less you believe in it, the less uh, factual it becomes. So I'm somebody that likes to stick to the earliest text. In this in this case, it's the Epic of Gilgamesh and the Atrahasis. Which version do you think? The Bible version or the uh, Sumerian, Akkadian and Babylonian version? Is more uh, close to the truth. Mm, yeah, I think the most early version. The earliest, yeah, the earliest, not the latest one, the Noah. Uh, the, the latest one could have been altered, you know. Um, it is, it is, um, yeah, past. The story is passed by mm -hmm. multiple people, probably. Yeah. You have different civilizations. Yeah, you, have, you have the Egyptian flood story, the Greek flood story, the Hindu flood story, the Chinese flood story. England had one, Polynesian. American so you, Indians. But do you think it's the same or? It's maybe the original is the same, but every culture changes it a bit. The Chinese flood story relates how Fa He, founder of the Chinese civilization, escaped a great flood after man had rebelled against God. Fa He, his three sons, their wives, and Fa His wife escaped. What it could it could be? Uh, then it? this story says that the man rebelled against God. This is a again a different version. Yeah, but I think I th I think a flood doesn't have have to be globally, you know, worldwide. I mean, you know what happened in uh, early two thousands? Um, complete parts of uh, Asia were flooded, you know, by tsunamis. Mm -hmm. um, so that was kind of a flood, uh, a flood, a flood uh, uh, story. Um, back then. The, the tsunami in the Japan is a flood story. Yeah, okay. and, and also in... Uh, in, in maybe, in, yeah, in, maybe in, there were more. In Asia. Um, but all these stories have this guy has where, three... Where was it? Philippines or... Uh, where were so many people also? Yeah, but does this, this story has a guy that builds an ark and escapes with his wife and three sons? Um, all these stories have the same. And the gods were angry? Yeah. The yeah, gods maybe, the gods were, may, maybe the gods were maybe the gods and one god tell them hey maybe dude, the gods were angry Noah again. or Atrasis go build an ark the flood is coming save yourself and your family and take one animal and uh, two animal or something and put them in the ark but the only difference is is that 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 that, yeah. that, 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 that there was one special guy who was selected by the god to know you know to know what what would happen and uh, was given time in advance to uh, yeah make pre pre uh, yeah make preparations to 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 uh, to survive yeah together with uh, all the species and that's the difference uh, with with all these yeah with with the flood story in uh, the early 2000s I, did, I don't know when was it when the big tsunamis were so many people died and back then uh, maybe the tribes were really small you know few thousand people together the world wasn't so big now the world is quite big yeah but all these stories are alike it has uh, all the main the big the line is the same mm. there's Noah guy you have one guy with family and he goes to the flood and uh, was that? Return the return of the, of the Nephilim. This is something. Yeah, that's a giant. Giant, yeah, giant bones. They found it. See, yeah, look, this guy, small guy, big bones. Yeah, but uh, do you think that's a real picture? Can you can, can you open it and have a look if you can find the uh, CGI? This one. Yeah. Nephilim skeleton. Okay, look at shadows and overlapping. His hand looks like CGI. 
Yeah, because if this was a real giant, he could not be here with a shovel. Oh, this right. too, an archaeologist will never do like this. Because He's shoveling out something. No, uh, no, 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 no. It will damage. Too, that's yeah. way too expensive and way yeah, too. To uh, damage the uh, bone too, structure. Too precious. Yeah, he will. Get, they will have a brush, you know, a little yeah. brush, yeah. And brush, brush the dust away. Yeah, or they, or, or these, use their hands. And or, he, does, he doesn't even have a glove. Yeah, all these were the amateurs who found it first. He does not have a glove. No, no, no. But and he's using a spade. Yeah, all these were the amateurs, you know, who found it first yeah. and later on reported it as uh, yeah found. Yeah, it's a hoax. Look, and uh, what what is this? The like something crushed the giant. Yeah. And what what, what look crushed here, the giant? Look, something here. Some wood. You don't. He doesn't have a leg. He doesn't have legs. It's only this part. So where's the leg? Where are the legs? Yeah, and the ribs are also quite weird. Mm -hmm. I think. What with the what, what? What's with the ribs? It's definitely CGI. And look how this guy is watching uh, with his hands to show the. Uh, Contrast looks fake to me. Mm. Okay. Definitely CGI to sell the book. Yeah, but unless they come with very good evidence, then they could be entire giants were there, but. How come the, when the fallen angels have children with the woman from Earth, their son were giants? Hmm. If you think yeah, about so. It. Okay, you have like a, a god from space come, and he was not that big. He was. Uh, it was bigger, but maybe he's... nine feet, two times bigger than a human. Okay, and then he made. They went with the woman, and they. The children from the woman became giants. Hmm. Yeah, but 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 that's strange that's, because that the sounds really suppose the women weird, is, yeah. the women is this big, yeah, and 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 they will give birth to such a large. Uh, yeah, and then the the baby would be a giant baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah how how is it possible? Uh, such a woman. In, yeah, and, and then you get the giant baby. Yeah, uh, yeah that will not even. Yeah. Or, or, this ba out. or this baby has uh, an, an extended growth time, you know. Uh, it, it, <laughs> yeah, it, it suddenly grows like very fast. Yeah, <laughs> or, or, or grows longer for a longer. <laughs> spurt for a longer. In his, uh, in his teen, teeny teenager, yeah, teenage years. Yeah. So we humans uh, grow until we are uh, yeah, late <laughs> late teenagers, no? Until when we are twenty twenty one, we we stop growing, or we are we already have stopped, mm -hmm. no? Humans, so now I don't know, but they grow longer, maybe. <laughs> this is <laughs> human, and they grow until like they are 30 yeah, or 40. Yeah. Okay, it could right, be. I don't right, know. All right, okay. Well, uh, thank you for watching. Let me know of let us know what you think about the giants if they existed or not. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Look, he grabs a woman. Georgius Sincellus survive. Giants. Have you ever seen a guy like this? No, man, this is impossible. <laughs> yeah, but that was that was uh, that was the baby of a of a, of a human woman. <laughs> the book of giants, the watcher, right? the Philemon, the book of. That, so, so that was the baby of a human woman. Among the first seven scrolls discovered in the caves of. Cormoran at the Dead Sea is a scroll given the name the Book of Giants. Da -da 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 -da. It is thought to have been based on the Book of Enoch, a pseudo epigraphical Jewish work from the 3rd century BCE. The Book of Giants, like the Book of Enoch. The Book of Giants, like the Book of Enoch, concerns itself with the Nephilim which are the offspring of fallen angels. 
who are called the Watchers. Two main versions of the text exist. The Dead Sea is written in Aramaic. Mm. That's interesting. Mm, Aramaic. Wow. So, the Book of Giants. There are many of these books. Okay, uh, okay. The Book of the Watchers, the Book of the Parables of Enoch, Astronomical Book, Book of Dream Visions, and the Epistle of Enoch. So, you've got like a lot of books of Enoch. Suddenly all these books come out. Mm. It's also a bit strange. Maybe one is the original and then somebody like they write a whole set of them. Or there was this Enoch guy was really busy writing books. Yeah, he got very old so he had enough time to write many books. Okay. Thank you for watching and uh, if you have anything uh, to comment to comment leave a comment and of course thumbs up give us a thumbs up and uh, see you next time see you next time